Hi guys, I hope all of you doing well. Here in this video, we are going to analyze each and every problem of GATE 2020 chemistry. So watch the video completely to get the best analysis of each and every problem. And before going to analyze, I'm going to give an information about a free talent test for CSAR net June 2020 chemical sciences, which is going to be conducted on February 27, 2020 on chemmas online. So hurry up to get registrations. Just remember, for first 100 registrations, it is free. That is exam is going to be free for first 100 registrations. So hurry up to get registrations for that. And from that talent test, you will get the best benefits from online website. Now, just come to the point of the question. Major product formed in the following reaction is now, just look at the given substrate as in organic problem solving skills. As the first step, we need to look at the substrate for the functional groups and the stereochemistry. As in the second step, we need to look at the reagents and their combinations. The third step, we need to look at reaction conditions like thermal conditions and photochemical conditions like that. So if you observe all of these three important features of an organic reaction you can guarantee give the correct product okay right now just to look at the given substrate here it is having stereochemistry and at the same time you can see a six membered ring with two double bonds so there is the possibility to make it a six membered ring that is which will have aromaticity in it so the driving force of this reaction involves or just by the two factors the first factor is aromatization in this ring okay and second factor is stabilization of carbocation okay so these two factors just uh, are the driving forces for the given reaction okay now just come to the point of oxygen of this carbonyl oxygen which is having lone pair of electrons attacks on H plus which is coming from that reaction conditions or reaction mixture okay right after attacking oxygen gets partial positive charge okay right we know that so here partial positive charge so oxygen is more electronegative that's why it shouldn't bear positive charge on it that's why always try to compensate that positive charge from that adjacent double bonded electron so here we have two adjacent double bonds one is from here and one is from here okay so two possibilities are there just consider it is path a and it is path b if the resonance stabilization or the positive charge on our partial positive charge on oxygen is compensated from the path b okay from path b you can see there is a formation of tertiary carbocation here okay right if the reaction takes place through path a right and in that case you can see there is a formation of secondary carbocation here we have methyl group we know that tertiary carbocation is more stable than secondary carbocation that's why here is the possibility of the methyl migration onto the secondary carbocation so from that you can see here methyl group just come here and after further steps formation of aromatization on this ring okay so from this now you can see that the steps or just check the options the third option is the correct answer so the given reaction or the driving force for the given reaction involving the stabilization of carbocation and the formation of aromatic ring so just try to find the name of reaction okay so i have just uh, analyzed it in uh, or analyzed it with the basic concepts now you can find the name of the reaction okay now just look at the second question among the following the total number of aromatic species is now just look at the first one here the given six membered 
ring with one heteroatom oxygen is having two double bonds so four pi electrons and oxygen having lone pair of electrons you can consider two electrons may involve here in delocalization so two electrons from it so six pi electrons you may think like that but here we have one sp3 carbon right so whenever sp3 carbon is there in a planar ring there is no possibility of delocalization of these double bonds so the major or the prime feature of Huckel aromaticity involves delocalization of pi electrons with positive charge or negative charge okay so there is no possibility of delocalization on this planar ring so it is not aromatic compound now just look at the second one three double bonds are there in a planar ring so for here we have six pi electrons following uh, Huckel's rules okay four and plus two pi electrons that's why it is aromatic the first one the second one is aromatic compound now just look at this one here we have four pi electrons which are delocalizing with this positive charge okay so that's why I, we can say it is anti-aromatic because uh, it is not aromatic because it is not following four and plus two pi electronic rule of uh, Huckel's rules so it is uh, non-aromatic not aromatic and next one here we have what uh, four pi electrons which are in delocalization that's why it should be considered as anti-aromatic it is not following 4n plus 2 pi electron rule but it is following 4n pi rule okay that's why it is anti-aromatic now just come to the point of next one here two pi electrons having the possibility of delocalization with the positive charge okay so following Huckel's uh, all Huckel's rules so it is aromatic now just come to the point of next one where you can see here so many aspirin skips there uh, by just considering total electrons 14 they will say it is aromatic but it is not aromatic because uh, or we can find how it is uh, uh, not uh, how it is not aromatic okay Ra right now according to craig's rules okay so just use craig's rules here just to take a c2 axis which should pass at least two carbons of uh, given uh, structure okay right here c2 now just to try to take the, or just label the carbons here we can start from this alpha beta alpha beta here alpha beta alpha here beta and here alpha beta alpha and here beta now we need to find the number of uh, simply replaceable on c2 axis they should be replaced their positions here here you can see beta beta alpha alpha beta beta here alpha alpha beta beta so total five replacements can be seen on c2 rotation so f equals to five here now is there any that means not combined or simply they are not going to replace each other there is no one so here we can say g is equal to zero so total f plus g equals to 5 whenever f plus g equals to even number it is aromatic whenever it is a uh, odd number then it is not aromatic okay so here you can see f plus g is producing 5 so it is not aromatic okay just find it and uh, i'm just giving the basic time points of the cakes rules only okay so if you want to get so we will give the uh, diff, uh, next lecture on this particular concept okay right now just look at the fill rule we know that it is aromatic so here one and here two and here three now just look at the next one three pi electrons or uh, pi double or uh, double bond so so total six pi electrons one uh, negative charge so total eight electrons so eight electrons will uh, follow four n system okay so four n system with the delocalization possibility we can say anti-aromatic so total three aromatic compounds are observed in the given compounds of it okay and next question here a solution containing a metal complex absorbs at 480 nanometer with molar extension coefficient of 15,000 liter per mole per centimeter if the path length of the cell is one centimeter and transmittance is 20.5 percent the concentration in mole per liter of the metal complex is so to find answer for this problem first we need to find absorbance okay so here we have given with percentage transmittance so here we have an equation or formula to find absorbance from this uh, uh, percentage transmittance as a equals to 2 minus log 
percentage transmittance okay so just substitute log of 20.5 percentage now just use the scientific calculate calculator which will be a load in your gate examination and from this you can find the absolute values 0 0.6 EITI 246138 like that okay after finding absorbance from these Lombard's law okay so we have uh, the equation that is absorbance equals to molar extension coefficient into concentration into path length of the cell so from this you can find the concentration c is equal to absorbance by molar extension coefficient into into path length so absorbance is calculated just substitute here molar extension coefficient is given 15000 liter per mole per centimeter and path length is given one centimeter just substitute it you can find the concentration uh, as 4.5 and into 10 power minus 5. next question when three moles of helium is mixed with one mole of neon at constant temperature and pressure here 25 degrees centigrade one atmospheric pressure the entropy of mixing in joule for kelvin we need to find uh, here our value is given so to find answer for this problem first we need to find the delta g mixing okay so free energy of mixing which is uh, which is having an equation that is n or t into here x into x1 ln x1 plus x2 ln x2 here n indicating total number of moles of the mixture so here we have three helium and one neon so total four just substitute here four into r value 8.314 just uh, substitute there its uh, units okay joule for kelvin per mole into t that is temperature which is given in centi uh, degree centigrade 25 so we need to convert it into kelvin so which equals to 298 kelvin so 298 kelvin here into here x indicating mole fraction so first term for helium just consider for second term neon okay for that helium you can take the mole fraction as here 3 moles of helium is given in the total moles 4 so 3 by 4 ln 3 by 4 plus so neon 1 mole is going to mix with 3 moles of helium that's why 1 by 4 into ln 1 by 4 so from that you can find delta g mixing so just use the scientific calculator and then you can find the answer from that as almost minus 213.5903 like that after finding delta g mixing now we have the formula to find so the entropy of mixing delta s mixing equals to minus delta g by t so just substitute delta g value and the t that is 298 kelvin temperature and from that you can find delta s mixing okay right next question in an nmr spectrometer operating at a magnetic field strength of uh, 16 for 16.45 uh, tesla the resonance frequency of uh, f19 nucleus is so here simple we have an equation that is uh, energy e equals to or delta e equals to h nu and which is equals to here gf that is g factor of chlorine into bn or beta n okay so beta n indicating bore magneton okay into here h h indicates external magnetic field strength okay so here h indicating planck's constant from that you can find resonance frequency equals to gf into beta n into h by small h okay so g factor is given and uh, planck's constant is given right and here the external magnetic field strength 16.45 tesla is given and here beta n that is Bohr magneton value is given so just substitute all the values you can find resonance frequency of it okay right and next question for a cubic crystal system the powder x-ray diffraction pattern recorded using copper k alpha source lambda is equal 1.54 angstrom shows a peak at 33.60 degrees Two theta for one 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 plane. The lattice parameter A is okay. So for this, first thing, just look at theta, the angle. So t uh, two theta equals to thirty three point six zero degrees. So we need to take theta is equal to sixteen point 
Yike. Now just use Bragg's equation. So we know that lambda for first, uh, first order diffraction, lambda is equal to 2d sine theta. Okay, so before that, we need to find the spacing, d spacing. Okay, so we can find d spacing from that, uh, from here is equal, uh, you can find lambda by 2 sine theta. So lambda all is given 1.54 angstrom, just substitute here. Okay, and 2 sine 16.8, just, uh, just use scientific calculator. You can find d h k l okay the value is uh, you can find here and after that the lattice parameter a equals to d h k l into under root here h square plus k square plus l square here h k l indicating one 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 planes here okay and d h k l value you can find from this and just substitute their values and you can find lattice parameter for this cubic crystal system okay right thank you very much and in the next video we are going to uh, analyze all other questions just visit chemmasters.online and uh, get registration for a free talent test which will be conducted on february 27 uh, 2020 so just get uh, registrations for free and uh, it is for free for and faster 100 registrations okay i hope it will be helpful for you thank you very much